remember I said that he has got four major releases to contend with in this routine. And it all goes crazy right here. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. Huge air on the first release. Gonna fly in the air. Do a back laid out somersault with a full twist and watch, he just doesn't complete the twist fast enough. Look at that right arm. He just misses it on the bar. So look at that right hand, it slides, actually both of them slide right over the top of the bar. Maybe needed to lift his head a little bit earlier so he could visually see the bar and... Jonathan Horton needs a 15.0, certainly very doable, to take over second place from John Orozco. Scored 15-1 on floor, night one. It was a very interesting first tumbling run. Combination pass that goes into a very tricky full twisting front one and three quarters, so he'll roll out of it like a diver right here. Nice. Got to be patient on his landings. And that oh. was great. <laughs> Very focused. Very good. the best I've ever seen John Horton look on floor exercise. He's always typically a little bit jumpy, doesn't take his time with landing sometimes. But this has been very, very good in that department. Two flips, one twist, and his visas are complete. Gonna get that score and then some. <laughs> it's like that fall never happened. He's pointing at me. Yeah. <laughs> He's pointing at me because his he has a pass that he never sticks, and I give him a hard time about it all the time. It's one of his easiest passes in his routine, and that's the first time I've ever seen Jonathan Horton do it. That's sick, man. Woo.